Hey, what's going on guys? This is Manalaki and today I just wanted to share with you my take on Stellaris. What is Stellaris? Well, basically, it's another one of those grand strategy games by Paradox Interactive. They they do a lot of these grand strategy games. And this is another one. It's kind of a grand strategy 4X hybrid. You might be wondering, what is a grand strategy game? Well, it's kind of like if you're familiar with the Europa Universalis or, you know, Hearts of Iron or, you know, Crusader Kings 2, something like that. Just taking the idea of a strategy game and just taking it way beyond on a much grander scale. So, you know, instead of something like a real-time strategy where it's a small battlefield and you go at it, uh, the grand strategy will span an entire world, or in Stellaris's case, an entire galaxy. Now, Stellaris is set 200 years in the future or so. It's just as your civilization has figured out FTL, or faster than light travel. And so the idea is you set out into the galaxy, and explore and meet alien races and conquer them or make friends with them or whatever you want to do. So it kind of kind of goes that way. Basically, it plays very similar to a lot of the Space 4X games. You may have heard of Master of Orion. And Stellaris is somewhat comparable to that, with a considerable amount of complexity and depth added to the game. So let's talk a bit about what I like about the game. And it's honestly quite a bit. I really, really like this game. It's been one of my favorite games ever since it came out about a year ago-ish, I think. It's been it's been one of my favorite games for sure, so I'm really, really into it. So basically, uh, one of the things I like about it is vast, vast exploration. There is so much to explore in this game. There are so many star systems, so many planets, so many different things to explore, so many different races to meet, so many different creatures not to spoil too much but to different creatures to, to encounter and, and things to find the exploration in this game is really really amazing there is just so much to find in this game it's just awesome Stellaris has tons of customization now who doesn't like customization in a game it's insane there's so many different portraits you can pick from so many different like species so many different traits and uh, ethics you can pick from bonuses starting governments and that sort of thing uh, you can even customize right down to your the way your ships look they're constantly adding new stuff you customize your colors you customize your starting tech even the, the weaponry you start with really 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 good stuff when it comes to the customization of this game and it's only getting deeper with every patch which kind of leads into the next thing really nice roleplay potential if you're into that sort of thing if you want to really feel like you're playing this particular race that you created and you, how, how they interact with the different species within the within the universe, the galaxy, whatever. It's really, really well done. Uh, just because of the different different combinations of things you can pick, you can even write a little bio, a little blog about your <laughs> about your race if you, if you want to. And th the game plays really, really smoothly when it comes to that sort of uh, role playing aspect. When it when it combines with your your skills and your traits and everything, it really does a nice job there. Now personally, I'm not hugely concerned with graphics when it comes to games. It doesn't really matter that much to me. I'm more concerned with the gameplay, but Stellaris does look quite beautiful. It's got some really, really nice visuals, really great uh, effects, great backgrounds, great planets, really, really nice uh, nice work. The, the art team from Paradox has done a bang up job making this game look beautiful. Some of the ships, like I said, some of the planets and the... And the the nebulas and the and the backgrounds and everything. Oh, it's just beautiful. So if graphics are important to you, you need not worry with Stellaris. It looks good. Now I have had a chance to mess around a little bit with the multiplayer. That's really not the main focus for me personally when it comes to a game like Stellaris. I'm more concerned with the single player aspect. But I did enjoy the multiplayer experience I had. I played a couple of quick games. A quick game. A quick game in Stellaris is like an hour and a half, two hours, <laughs> even if you're on like the smallest, dif smallest galaxy or whatever. But uh, you know what I mean. With these grand strategy games, they can take quite a while in multiplayer. Like I said, I just played a couple of quick ones, and I had had some fun with it. We didn't run into any technical issues. The game played properly, uh, unlike other Paradox. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, the game played really, really well. Um, had a good time with it. So multiplayer actually works quite well. And it's a lot of fun to set up little alliances with your friends or even just, you know, alliances with the AI against your friends or whatever you want to do. The game works really well in multiplayer. And I had a good time with it. And of course, one thing we can't forget to mention, as always, this is a Paradox game, folks. They're going to be supporting it forever. Uh, based on what we've seen, the sales numbers that they talked about, the game seems to be doing really well. It's broken records for them. So you can pretty much guarantee 
that they're going to be supporting the living crap out of this game. They already have. They're constantly, constantly putting out new patches, new DLCs, and at the time of this recording, there's a major, major expansion. The biggest the game has seen just around the corner, probably, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say within a month, month and a half. It's an update called Utopia. It's going to add all kinds of new crazy stuff. Dyson spheres you'll be building, uh, you know, ring worlds you'll be building, all these new... Uh, New, new things you can do with your pops, your, 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 your species, I mean, your, your population. You can set a caste system so you can have these elite, wealthy elites getting high, not doing much, and you can have slaves, and you can even set species to eat. That's right, you can designate other sentient races as food. I mean, that's, that's worth the price <laughs> for me right there. But uh, yeah, so this game is going to see paradox level of support. So when you, when you make a purchase on a game like Solaris, you have you have that confidence of knowing that they are not going to abandon the game. That is not how Paradox works at all. They're super, super, super great about supporting their game. So you can buy with confidence if you want to look at it that way. Now let's talk about some of the downsides of Solaris. And to be completely honest, there aren't that many. I really, really like this game, but it has a couple of, couple of problems. Nothing crazy major, just kind of the usual stuff, really, when talking about uh, Paradox and their and their games. Uh, one thing is there's there are still some bugs in the game. Not all the bugs have been ironed out. Now, a year ish into the game, that's you know you know whatever. It's not a huge deal. They'll get to it, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, like I said, the minor UI bugs, couple little logic bugs. They're, they seem to be having trouble with the sector AI, which is you know something they'll fix. It's irritating, and people are <laughs> people are complaining about it, but I'm not too worried. They're on it, so little things like that aren't aren't, uh, aren't a huge deal. There's minor little balance issues, if you could call it that, or design issues. Just as an example, I I would argue that defense stations are too weak for their cost, their maintenance, and the pacing of them's a little wrong. By the time you have the technology to build a defense station, I don't know that there's a reason to do it. They're so weak, uh, unless you just you're just baiting. An enemy fleet to land on top of your your FTL magnet right on top of your Doomstack fleet that happens to be sitting there. And beyond that, I'm not sure what what the value is. Just just little little things like that, little minor tweaks that they could probably make that would improve things greatly. At least in my eyes, maybe there's a reason they have weak defense station. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Little little things like that. I'm sure they could tweak it. So there's nothing really major there. Uh, and the other thing that is kind of a kind of a downside. Again, same thing in a lot of the other Paradox titles. The late game performance in Stellaris is, is not good. At least on my system, but it's not specific to my rig. There's complaints all over the forums about it. When you get into that super late game scenario and there's all kinds of huge fleets flying around and all kinds of crap happening, the game tends to grind down to a really slow pace and it can be a little frustrating. Now I've heard people say you can just reload your save game and you're good for a bit, but I haven't had any luck with that. So that's one thing to keep in mind, the, the late game performance, it's, it's, I'd have to assume it's due to the engine, but I don't know, I'm not, a, I'm not a professional software engineer, but whatever the case is, it does have some late game performance issues that uh, you should probably be aware of before going into it. So that's pretty much all the downsides I can think about the game. There's not a whole lot uh, bad to say about it, really, it's an excellent, excellent game. A couple of minor issues, like I said, but... All in all, it's a freaking amazing game, really, really good, and it's only getting better. It's in its infancy, basically. It's been out almost a year or a year, whatever it's been, and it's basically, it's still a tiny little child of a game growing up to be a, a mighty, mighty game one day, I'm sure, with the amount of support these guys give it. So, the verdict, what do I think of it? Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with a 9 out of 10. Because like the like we said, it's got a lot of pros, not a lot of cons. I'm gonna have to go with nine out of ten. Love this game, can't recommend it enough. And there's gonna be more content on my channel uh, surrounding this game. I'm planning on doing an update video if I can get time to do it. An update video uh, recapping all the features of Utopia once it comes out, and I've had a chance to mess around with it. So there's gonna be that. But uh, for now, it's beyond the scope of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Whatever you gotta do. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.